Breast Cancer Awareness Month starts on Tuesday, and our partners at the Idaho Statesman are profiling breast cancer survivors here in the Treasure Valley. Karen Lair joined them on an interview today and joins us live with a survivor story. Boise native Jennifer Poole is a mother of four who routinely put her friends and family's needs before her own. All that had to change on October 12, 2006, when she was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 35. Um, now there were moments after that first chemo treatment. Uh -huh. I laid on the bathroom floor in here and begged my husband to just let me die. Jennifer Poole is a third generation breast cancer survivor. And that was one of the first things my mom said to me is that, you know, the women in our family get diagnosed with breast cancer, but we survive it. We always survive it. Jennifer expected to be diagnosed with cancer at some point, but not in her mid 30s. Married with four children, she immediately thought about how it would affect her family. My children were four to 14, and when my four-year-old daughter got home, it's just I looked at her and I thought, I may not be here to see her start kindergarten, let alone get married, let alone give me grandchildren. Within a month after her diagnosis, Jennifer got a mastectomy and started chemotherapy. I, I always said I felt like a 80-year-old man because I was flat-chested, I had big steroid belly, all my joints ached, I had no hair, you know, I had just a little buzz coming in and no eyebrows and so I felt like this old man. Jennifer says support from her family made recovery easier. Two of my kids shaved their head and the other one who has all this red hair was growing it out so, to make me a wig. A tight-knit group of friends also helped Jennifer out whenever they could. One of them would just be like, you have chemo today, let me come get your daughter, I'll keep her overnight. I'm like, oh, she wakes up at night. Nope, nope, not taking no for an answer. They'd show up at my door and be like, hand over the laundry, we're taking it to the laundry mat. And I'm like, because they know I'd tell them no and I'd protest. So they would um, go behind my back through my husband or my mother or just show up at the door. After five years of treatment, another mastectomy and reconstructive surgery, Jennifer is proud to say she is now cancer free. Jennifer encourages all women to know their body and if something doesn't seem right, should get it checked out immediately. You can read her full story in this Wednesday special edition of the Idaho Statesman printed entirely on pink paper to honor breast cancer awareness. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair. Today, six on your side.